Hey everyone, this is Livy with Freckled Heart. I started this blue box about 15 minutes ago and just looked at it and realized I was filming the wrong way. It would be this way instead of landscape. So uh, I'm starting this where I left off on it only because I really hadn't found anything much at all. Most of it is craft so far. So I'm going to try and do this in two smaller videos, like 30 minute videos, instead of the big hour and a half video that I normally do. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from here. I've already, um, I'll try and insert just like a picture. I'm not sure I can or not. I've already opened it up. Oh, let's see. Maybe I can show it to you really quick. I don't have stuff in the very bottom out. This is it. There's still a few things in the very bottom because I didn't figure I'd get to them yet. So it's from Nashville, Tennessee, and I ordered this in April. April 19th is when they shipped it. So I've had it a long time. That's the rest of what's in the bottom. And I've got a tub full of stuff over here. So let me start again. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Freckled Heart. I'm Libby. My uh, counterpart is Kylie, my daughter. We do a lot of thread up unboxings and stuff. I do all the jewelry here and we do the rest of it together. Uh, we are part-time resellers on eBay, Mercari, and Kittizen and full-time Etsy shop owners at freckledheart.com. Okay, so let's just go ahead and keep going here. Um, this is just a little, I want to say plastic, but it almost feels like a I think it's just a lightweight plastic. This also is just going to go in craft. It may be vintage. It's on string. Oh, it looks like wooden. These are wooden beads. So, you know, they're in really good condition. So, I'll just do $2 on this. It is... About 22 inches. If there was anything interesting that I already did, I will do that at the end of probably the next video and go over the ones that you might want to see. This is just a fashion necklace. I don't see any kind of maker mark on here. Gold tone with uh, black and some rhinestones. It's very pretty. I like the colors will go with most anything. There may be a little bit of scuffing on the top of these. It's really hard to tell until you try and clean it up. There may just be light scuffing because it is plastic. So I'm just going to do, it's colored. So I'm just going to do three dollars on this if you like that. Oh, let me tell you how big it is. How, to, how long it is. Come on. It's going to be, uh, so about 17 inches long, well, I think it's going to be about 16, let's see, about 16 inches long and then it has a 3 inch extender. Alright, this is just very lightweight, silver tone, pretty beads on it. See that? Let's see if I can get over here better. Some better light, maybe. Alright, let's do that. So, pretty different beads. Um, these are really lightweight. So, um, it's just a little fashion necklace, but it is cute. Oh, it's broken right there, so it's gonna go and craft. And this is broken.
interesting beads and stuff on it. But it is got wire coming out here because I think this had probably was beaded all the way around or at least bottom. And this is broken, so it'll go on craft. Hmm. Interesting. This says spirit on the back. Uh, it almost looks like a hematite or something. It's a uh, hematite shows up on the presidium. Yeah, it's not, you can't see that. It's not showing up as anything. So it's probably just glass. Um, this is spirit. These feel like uh, silver. My guess is they're silver plate. I don't think they're real silver. See anything on here that would indicate they are, but my guess is they are silver plate. I guess we can look really quick here, Let's see if that comes up. I don't want to hurt this. Not even that okay so interesting I'm not sure it's really nice weight uh, it's heavy the chain is fairly heavy and it's an interesting piece so 18 inches and I'm gonna go ahead and say four dollars for that it's pretty This is just uh, wooden beads. It's nice and long, and these are in good shape. They're pretty, inter very interesting. Uh, this is just like a plane, and these are um, black. Actually, this is not a bead. But I do think it's just like glass or ceramic. But it's not a, uh, and it may even be acrylic, probably acrylic actually. Okay, so they have this interesting knot here, an adjustable knot, that you can make it a little bit longer or shorter. So the longest length is going to be Approximately, um, all the way down, I'm going to say the longest one is going to be about 36 inches. And then if you shorten it up, it's going to be about 28 inches. That's pretty. It's in good condition. So let's say $4 on that. It's pretty lightweight. It's not a really heavy one. Alright, this is broken, so that's going in craft. This, hmm, I don't know that. Anybody know that? I don't know that maker mark. Um, this is just like a cotton, four strands of cotton with this little pendant, or actually good size pendant. It's not very heavy. It's fairly lightweight, but not cheapy lightweight, not that lightweight, if you know what I mean. 
so this is going to be 16 inches. The pendant itself is about 2 inches. And this has a 3 inch extender. So everything looks to be in very good condition. So we're going to do, we'll do $4 on that one. This is a pretty little crescent moon pendant. A little kind of psychedelic. A little pendant here in the middle. That's pretty. It's just a uh, acrylic, very lightweight little pendant. Just a fashion piece. Pretty little uh, delicate chain on it. And then it's got an extender. So wants to get caught up in this. There we go. <laughs> it's tangled. All right, so there you go. That's what it's going to look like. It is very cute. So the chain on it, it's all in pretty good condition except for these. Uh, so it is... Twenty-six inches. The chain has got a two-inch extender, and this is about inch and a half, two inches, inch and a half. Um, we'll just do three dollars on that one. This is just a little memory wire bracelet. Pretty colors: blue, green, white, clear. That is cute. We'll do two dollars on that. Here is another memory wire. Necklace, fashion necklace. Oh wait, what does this say? Oh, this is that you and I. Uh, Oh, good shape this is in. Actually, that one is in pretty good shape. All different colors. Might need to be fixed a little bit here. Oh, there's one little bend in it there. But I think that can all be fixed. These are all little glass beads. Very pretty, different color beads. Little rainbow type necklace. This is cute. We'll do three dollars on this one. I don't usually keep those, but that's a cute one. This is just a little um, faux tennis bracelet, and you can see all the copper coming through, so that's going to go in craft. are just little like aluminum bracelets and they're bent out of shape. Those are going in craft. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't see any maker on it. But it's kind of pretty. Different colors. Uh, of green and then a gold um, with gold tone. I've got a bug around here. You can see it. Um, this is cute. This is yeah, it's a little bit larger because as I say, it fits on my wrist. So it's for a larger wrist. My wrist is seven and a half, and that's going to be about at the bottom part there. It's going to fit pretty good on my wrist. It would fit a seven, probably a seven to an eight. But it is a cute bracelet. So we'll do four dollars on that one.
here's another it's got a little safety clasp on it like a tennis bracelet but it looks like the copper is coming through on that too to me it's a nice feel to it but see all that copper coming through and I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it. So if you want like these little rhinestone bracelets like this, it's a couple of good ones. And this one, it wouldn't show. It's only showing on the inside. So it's very pretty. Um, so we'll do $2 on this one. This one is in better shape than the other one. And it's just about seven and a quarter inches. Cute little fan earrings. Oh, that's only one. All right, we still got one on that then. This is just a little craft. Craft. Got a little gnat around here. That's another one. This is a bracelet. And it is Chica's. So this is cute. Let's see, is this magnetic? Yep. That's cute. Little magnetic bracelet. It does fit on me just. So it's going to be better for like a six and a half, seven rent inch wrist. But that's very pretty. I like the gunmetal finish. It's all in very good condition. All the pretty big rhinestones are there and sparkly. That's actually a really nice piece. So um, I'm gonna do six dollars on this one. It's all in good condition. Very cute. I like that one. We got a bunch of earrings in here. We got 18 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some of the other stuff that's in here. This was sit on sale somewhere for $2. This is like a little crafty piece, and I'll probably put it back in there. So if you like that, it's a dollar. Just like a wrap, but um, it's kind of a mess. So let's go to craft. All right, this is oh, this is an interesting chain. This is a very cool chain. I think this is missing something from this pendant. But this is really kind of cool. Well, it's got like a little rubber thing in there with a pin that it goes into. I will probably, oh, it looks like, yeah, I'm probably going to keep this just for this chain. See if I find anything else that goes with it. Unless somebody really wants it and we can have it for $3. This is just seed bead with these interesting beads on there. Those are kind of cool looking, aren't they? Huh. Well, I think this is somebody's project, but we'll do $2 on that. It's pretty. These are just acrylic. Uh, this is... 38 inches long. So we'll do $2 on that. And looks like this is another one here. Uh, this is like all these different colors. I like it, but like this is all out. I'm just going to put this in craft. 
This is just a very cheap bracelet that's going to be on craft. This is a pretty bracelet. I like the way this is done. Uh, there's no... Uh, I could probably get that on. That's really kind of pretty. Uh, silver tone. It's in pretty good condition. And... I'm going to say it is about six and a half inches around, so it's small. We'll do two dollars on that. This is another fashion piece, but it's very worn, so it's also going to craft. A couple of bangles. It's a pretty little bangle. I'll do two dollars on that one. And this one uh, is rough right there. It's going to catch on stuff, so that's going to go on craft. This has a lot of beads on it. I think these are glass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are just glass, but they're pretty. Um, and these are like little brass be spacer beads, and there's a lot of them. So this is going to go in craft, but this is a nice piece. But with all that yucky stuff at the back, I'm not even going to mess with it. This is cute. Cute little bracelet. It looks to be in fairly good condition, except right there. I'm wondering if this is silver plate. It feels nice. I see the coppers coming through on just a couple of places. Whoops, I forgot to take that off here. I just want to see if this is like a silver plate or not. It doesn't really look like it. Because it doesn't want to scratch much. Get that bubble on it. No. It has a nice feel to it. Um, it is seven and a half inches. Um, it is cute. It would fit on me. So we're just going to do $3 on this because it does have a few places. Yeah, it does fit me. It does have a couple places underneath here where the um, copper is showing through, but not much at all. And it is a pretty bracelet and it feels good on. It's nice and smooth. So we'll do $3 on that one. Let's see. This is like a hematite because it's or magnetite. I don't know. It's it's magnetized. So you can do this to fit your wrist. It is cute. It's nice and good condition. Just little uh, uh, magnetite, hematite beads, and then these uh, just plastic crystals. So we'll just do we'll do two dollars on that. This is just a long silver tone uh, leaf. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. Leaf necklace. And it is really long, so you could easily double this one. Let's see. Yeah, you could easily double this one and graduate it like that easily. Because this is 
can't even do it in camera. Let me tell you how long it is. It's 58 inches long. So, not in the best condition. There's some copper coming through on here. So, probably again, gonna go and craft. This was mostly a craft lot, which is what I found a lot of Goodwill Blue Boxes are. I see so many online that get so many cool things. And uh, look at this. This is cute. This is family. It's got a little tree of life there. This is small. What is that? Let me see. What does that say, guys? It says GV9, and I don't know what that is. Can you see that? GV9. I'm not sure what that is. This is very cute. Like I said, it's small. Um, I'll kind of take a look and see if I can find anything out about it and uh, let you know. But it, like if you didn't uh, stretch it out, it's going to be very small. Six inches. Now it does have some give to it, but it is really cute. I'll see what I can find out and I will give you a price on it. Pretty. Okay. I forgot about this one that was up here. And this is a pretty bracelet with these blue crystal shards with the AB finish on them. And these look like they're clear quartz that have been dipped in like a blue, something blue that leaves this iridescent AB finish on them. I'm pretty sure these are really just a, a regular clear quartz. And then this, you can pull on these and make this any size you want. So that's a pretty little bracelet. Um, so we'll go ahead and do Go ahead and do four dollars on that one. There wasn't really much in here to stop on. A lot of craft. These are going in craft. I'm going to dump the rest of this out. On here. Ah! I think that was just a bead. A lot of beads and stuff in here. Alright. Alright. This is cute. This is like a little um, dove. Let's see, just a little pin. With a little dove on it. Let's see if I can get you a good. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with lighting tonight. Just a little dove. It's in good condition. Nice and shiny still. Um, we'll just do three dollars on that. Oh wait, what does that say? Oh, let me see what this says. Hello, registered. Broken. Craft. 
this is a cute little stick pin with a little end on it here. If I can put that on there right now. I don't think it's going to. Um, but it's cute with the little hearts. And the one little heart in the middle that dangles. That's very cute. I don't see any kind of maker on it. So we can do three hours on that. It's in good, very good condition. Let's see. This looks like, uh, it says Little Sis, but it's been in craft. There's a lot of copper showing through on that one. Alright, let's see. I don't see any. How <laughs> cute is that? These are mostly going in craft because I don't have any in here, so I'm going to work with that. Let's see what we have. I don't see another piece for this. I don't see another one like this. This is so cool. I love this stuff that's like this, but I don't see another one like that. I don't see another one like that. Or that. Or this. Or this. Or this. I'm going to make sure I'm not, like, throwing away anything really fancy. This is all going in craft. This is going in craft. Oh, look how cool that is. I will probably keep that. I don't think that's kind of cool. Uh, it's going in craft. 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 I don't see anything here that is has a match. Lots of cool earrings, but only one of all of them. That almost looks like a coach or something, but I don't think it is. Just something about it reminds me of that. I don't see anything on there. see any kind of sterling, any kind of anything here. If you guys do, let me know. But this is all just, it's like a little shrinky dink. <laughs> that is Mother of Pearl, I think. That's a cute little pendant. I'll check that out. I don't know, guys. These all look pretty, uh, Basic stuff. Not much here. This is a pretty little, uh, pretty little one. Oh, these are all like on craft. This is really pretty. I don't see a maker mark on it at all, which surprises me because it's, it feels nice. We'll look at that one a little closer. This little bangle. Cute little wing. I don't see anything here, guys. It looks like any maker marks. Looks like silver or anything else. Not really. It's a little sandal. A lot, a lot of uh, one earrings here. But not much in the way of. Seems like, I'm hoping, because it does seem like these have gotten better again. They were so bad when I was getting these that that's the reason I stopped. But I've seen a lot that are a little better these days. Like they're letting a few things pass through because people were getting so upset that there was nothing in them. So I'm hopeful. But the next one I open will be better than this one. And these are just things I'm going to keep. This is garbage. Um, I was just going to test this even though, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think any of these are silver. You can kind of tell they don't want to scratch even, so 
Nope. 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 Lots of cute stuff for craft, guys. Uh, but not a whole lot else. Okay, I'm going to really quick uh, go over some of the things that uh, were in the beginning. There's not much here. Here's a little uh, seed bead braided necklace. That is very pretty that we can do for like three dollars if you like this it is oops, it is about 16 inches and it's nice nice weight because these are glass seed beads so it is a pretty piece so we'll do three dollars on that this was interesting. This was like a gold tone with this, I think it's faux leather. It's possible it's real, I'm not sure. Uh, it's kind of uh, heavy. These little pieces are heavy. These gold tone pieces. They're interesting. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But anyway kind of cool. Um, like to the shortest one is going to be about 17 inches I think and then the longer ones will hang down about two two and a half more inches. It's got a three inch extender on it. So we'll do four dollars on that like that. This is just one of these ones that's felt on the back and it is a uh, ribbon here. This is like chains, all different chains that have been uh, sewn onto this or glued. I'm not sure how this one was made. These are supposed to look like druzies. Almost looks like an egg. Like a geode. I don't know. It's kind of different but it's all silver. Kind of looks like foil on there to me. So we'll do $2 on that one. This was an interesting one. That is just a matte gold, like a teardrop shape with all these pretty little rhinestones set into it. Very cute. And this is long, long, long. Let's see, how long was this? I measured it once, let's see. It is... 36 inches and then this is two inches below that so that's cute and we'll do four dollars on that one and then other than that I just had these these feel like Mardi Gras they look like Mardi Gras beads I guess but they're really really heavy they're faux pearls and all these pretty colors um, and they are They are about 30 inches. So there's four strands of them. Very pretty. So I was going to say we'll do $5 for all four strands. They're very nice, heavy weight. And that is, let's, oh, this one. This one was quite interesting, actually. Um, See if I can figure this out again. I'm gonna pull this back so you can kind of see it here because it was pretty interesting. I don't know who it is. This is the only little hang tag and it doesn't say anything on it, but it was kind of a cool piece. It's a three like layers here. All right, so it goes like this. It's 
So this is going to be right up against the neck. If I remember correctly, it's like 12 inches. And then I'll do this again. And then we come down to this, which is quite pretty. It's in very good condition. Pretty little filigree around the bezel. It's very pretty. And then this is just a really lightweight little silver ball on this that floats like freely on here. So it's really kind of cool. Not really seen anything like it. If anybody has any idea who makes it, I'd love to, for you to tell me. Um, I figured I would just say $6 on this one because I don't know who makes it. But it is very different and kind of a cool piece. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's like 6 inches. Now there is like a 3 inch extender on there. So you can go, or did I say six inches? 12 inches. So you can go up to 15 inches. So it's going to be right around your neck. And then this is going to be, this next one is about 22. And then this one is going to be about 30 inches. So that's really kind of a neat piece. And the chain's really nice. It's not like a really super cheapy uh, one. It's very lightweight, don't get me wrong. And I think this is just acrylic but it is kind of a cool piece. Okay, so we'll do $6 on that one. And there was this one, which says Roman on it, which I know nothing about. So I am gonna figure this one out and put it up. So let's push this back down. Put it on the, uh, put it up on the screen. This one's about 16 inches. It's very pretty and in very good condition. Little filigree with the rhinestones on there. Very nice condition. The chain's in good condition and this just floats freely on here. And again, it says Roman in there. So I'm gonna let you know how much that one is. All right, guys, kind of done with this. This is gonna go in craft anyway, so I'm not gonna spend any more time with it. But it does have some nice little charms on it but if you can see I can't get this knot right here even out of here so it's got some cute little charms cute little cross charms if you like these this little uh, st. Christopher but it's kind of uh, it's kind of got some uh, copper showing through on that so and it's very dirty so it's just gonna go and craft the other piece uh, was this that'll go and craft None of this is silver. So I can see all the copper in all of it. So it's all just, oh, call me a liar. This one might be silver, even though it doesn't say it on here anywhere. And normally it would if it was silver. Hmm. is definitely silver okay so we got one silver piece out of this and it was the one I had to cut out and all this chain I do not think is silver if so I'll just put it in the scrap pile this little teeny chain that was all over in that so if anybody would like a little J that is silver I will do that for I'll do the little J for $7. Okay, so saving the best for last. Wow, look how pretty that is. That's definitely silver. Okay, so that is it for today's rendition of a Goodwill Blue Box. Um, a little over what we thought, but we got through the whole thing. Mostly craft, so I'm hoping next time we will get a better box all right guys thanks so much for stopping by if you like this kind of content please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on the next one all right guys bye